Hello, this is John from uh, Channel Got Mute or BMT IMV, and um, my friend asked me to record something for him via HD. I'm going to show you how to do it. I don't have any HD tuner card or anything. I merely have a um, set HD set top uh, and a firewire connection to my computer. And I'm going to show you how I capture with that. Okay, so this is the back of my set top. Notice, <clears throat> sorry, um, there's two fire wire wires, uh, I think that's eight pin that go right here to the end of my computer. And I happen to have a fire wire connection right, uh, right there in my sound card. And that just goes right into my computer. I don't have no HD tune. I have a right analog tune. I don't use that very often, but I, but uh, that, that is all I use to capture it. All the hardware I need to capture HD the way I do. Now, um, there's a few drawbacks which um, I should mention. One is you cannot capture any encrypted HD channel. Like uh, some of, some of the more popular ones are eight HBO, CBS even um, encrypts their channels. I don't know. I think they're not supposed to, but they do anyway. And um, any premium any premium channel, Stars, Cinemax is another one. Okay, so I'll turn on the computer. Turn on my monitor. By the way, I apologize for hand-holding the video and not having screenshots. I don't have any software that can do that. If um, you know of any that could capture screen um, other than fraps, I've been having some problems with fraps, then please tell me. And um, set tops always usually on, so I'll just turn on the TV. Okay, so now we're into my account, and I'm going to start up the HD, um, the program I use to capture HD, which is called, um, and I'll put a link to it at the side menu, the side menu of the, the video. One of them is, what is it again? Cap DVHS. And this is the dialogue in here. Right here you could schedule recordings. See it's coming from my Motorola tuner. This is, happens to be Motorola. I'm not sure if you do any for any HD set top that isn't Motorola. But uh, get back to me on that. This dialogue essentially you could um, schedule recordings to happen or you could record at this exact time before we record we gotta make sure that number one you have all the connections correct which is just the firework uh, firewire to firewire onto the computer is correct and we got the channel we want to record and once we have all that done we go over here to schedule and it's important to remember that um, well actually older versions of this program used to do it in military you know 24 hour clock but now um, they've switched to 12 hours so it's a little bit easier for us uh, in the states and all you do to tell it to record is you, you check whoops, timer reserve you could schedule it weekly or um, anything like that. The start time is the start time of the program. End time is the end when you want the recording to stop. And you could do it after the recording. You could uh, select, shut down, or log off. And file name is to create the file name. Once you have all that, the information down to for it to start, you click uh, 
Reg, R-E-G. And uh, once the time comes along to record, it will start recording automatically for you to the file name you specified. And you could specify in the settings where that file will go. So this is what I want. So I'll click Reg. And it added it to the list of uh, recorded times I specified. Okay, um, before I sign off, I wanted to show you how it actually records. So I'm going to um, click record right now. And to, and to um, know that it's recording correctly, it will show this information size, the aspect ratio, the frame rate, etc. If it does not, let me show you, it does not, um, refuses to record, I'll show you what happens. Let me stop this. Let me get a channel that I know is encrypted. Okay, so we're going to get HBO H. HD, which is a known encrypted channel. I'll show you what happens when you try to record this, at least in my method. Just click record. See, you have no information showing, which means uh, a blank file is being recorded. Well, um, oh yeah, and um, when you record, it will make a. Uh, um, TS file, which is called a transfer stream. Uh, depending on if it, the file actually records or not, um, the file could be pretty large. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. This is John signing off from BMT IMV. Thank you.